There's lots of things that make you the king of Bondi. Looks, charisma, having a beautiful smile, being talented out in the ocean too, and just being a little bit of you. Senior lifeguard Harry's is notorious for his unusual behaviour. That's a breathing apparatus. <laughs> and on a beach where anything can happen, he's met his perfect match. It's been a 21-year journey as a lifeguard on Bondi Beach, and the crazy, weird things I've seen are just keep outplacing themselves every day. Cars landing on the sand. Your teeth are down there. Hold on one sec. Boats arriving on the shoreline. This happened not going down my ship. And people doing their wacky things. You think you've seen it all, and then it just throws you another beautiful surprise. Kyle's time at Australia's most famous beach has come to an end. Oh, girl. Hello, hello. That night, after knocking off, lifeguards throw Kyle a farewell barbecue at nearby Bronte. It's an experience of a lifetime, no doubt about it. Thank you for everything. But even during the speeches, Hoppo keeps one eye on the ocean. I think someone's starting to rip out here. <laughs> The woman's making no headway against the rip. As darkness falls, the situation is highly dangerous. Go under. But then, a strange sound comes from the water. That is one ugly girl. Oh, my God! That was one of the most scariest moments of my life. What are you doing out there so late at night? Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Oh, I finally found <laughs> <laughs> Kyle wasn't the only one fooled by Harry's trick. I had no idea. When they went, someone's in trouble, I went, <laughs> And I went, uh, oh, like, I went, oh, And then, to be honest with you, um, <laughs> I didn't know they were setting him up, That's but yeah, okay. I, was, I was worried. Yeah. Here they come. Here he comes. Good well, well, Kyle. Here he comes. Good job. Yay! The woman I just rescued on the rip. 8.30 at night at Bronte. Some people take to cross-dressing just a little too easily. Bondi gets some unusual visitors. But on one day of the year, a very special person comes bearing gifts. This thoroughly modern Santa not only travels by jet ski, Merry Christmas! he's also banned junk food from his gift list. Healthy Christmas, healthy and happy Christmas. We used naughty or we used nice last night to Santa. Nice. Santa. Yes. Oh, you want to come on Santa's sleigh? Oh, I'd love to take it. But now I've got to go get some more presents overseas. I've got to go to London now. And then will you come back? Yeah, then I'll come back. Bye. <laughs> Coming from Santa, at least this is one apple these kids are excited about eating. To actually see children just losing it over Santa on the jet ski is amazing, you know. And one kid come up and said to Santa, I was overhearing, he said, thanks Santa for the present. Australia's best known beach is no stranger to the rich and famous. But now it's the lifeguard's turn to go crazy been worded up there's someone very important out there and it's Harry's just keen as to get out there mate I'm gonna have to doing. tell you it is <laughs> this is a VIP guest it's our godfather <laughs> it's the Hoff <laughs> I'll be there I'll be there <laughs> we're ready to meet the Hoff he's a sexy piece of meat he is the godfather of life guardian Oh, there he is. He's got his photo wash gear on. Oh, yes. The hot face. <laughs> the Godfather has arrived. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hoff, what's happening? The Hoff is on a whirlwind promotional tour to sell ice creams. But the make-believe lifeguard is about to bump into a real one. Hell yeah. Good job. Good job. You look like a little Hoff over here, brother. Uh, you Come are on, my, man. You are my godfather. Come on, yeah. I'm the Hoff father. I pride myself on you. What's your name, man? Harry's. Harry's. Nice to meet so you, man. So I took H. I yeah. took the Hoff. I'm yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. Good, great job out there. The Hoff is invited to escape the hysteria. It's a rare opportunity to observe the serious work in the lifeguard tower. The fairy godfather of lifeguards, Baywatch star David Hasselhoff, has sent the real boys in blue into a frenzy. Hoff and Bondi! Yeah! yeah. Wow, the Hoff is about to be put through his paces. He can cut it in Hollywood, but can he on Bondi? What we're going to do, Dave, if you're going to be here and be one of us, you're going to have to put one of our... Absolutely! Uh, yeah. 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 Bondi Central to all lifeguards is David Hasselhoff. just can't seem to get enough of real lifeguarding. OK, guys, this is David Hasselhoff, the Hoff. You guys have got to move over to the left by the flags, please. Into the flags. And there's been a sighting of a beautiful girl in the water. Be very careful. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Save the life, Fantastic. <laughs> We've got our yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. It's the biggest bromance seen on Bondi. Hello. Irene is on a quest to raise money for charity. Hello. Hi. How you going? Come in. Oh, thank you. My name's Harry. Yeah. I'm my boss, Hoppo. Oh, pleased to meet you. Hello. I'm all right, Good. thank you. Yeah. Hoppo's just, he's actually, he said you can play yeah. if you let me yeah. have a go at it too. Yeah, why not? <laughs> sure. I've, I've never played the bagpipes. Hoping to avoid making a fool of himself, Harry's wants to see how it's done first. I thought it'd be better if I let Irene actually use the bagpipes and use them right. Yeah. You know, I thought it'd be best if I just gave her a bit of a present, a cultural exchange, and showed her what the emu and kangaroo can do. Yeah! Harry's, of course, wanted to have a go, and I thought, well, do I let him have a go or not? And I thought, why not? Come here, Harry. Amazing, this is me dream. It sounded like the music on the Titanic when it's about to go down. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. <laughs> it was like I'd just blown like three or four balloons up. You know, I started to get a bit hypoxic. You know, I've got a good respect for her. She's doing this for charity, so all the best to her. Let's see the scenery. Ike hails from Venice Beach, California, a place famous for bodybuilders. Regarding himself as the king of Venice Beach, it's only proper that Ike should meet the King of Bondi. Hey, I'm looking for the King of Bondi! Enter Harry's. I've heard that these muscly guys have turned up on Bondi Beach and one of these guys is calling himself the King of Venice Beach. Well, does he want to meet the King of Bondi or what? There's lots of things that make you the King of Bondi. Looks, charisma, having a beautiful smile, being talented out in the ocean too and just been a little bit of you. Unbeknownst to Ike, Harry's has him in his sights. 
The plan is to get the boards out. I'm going to go straight down to the shoreline and we're going to get this on. Let's see how fit they are and let's see how their tush actually looks on the shoreline. Hang on, boys, Let's see. Now, Harry's has proposed a race to prove that he's the king of Bondi. So we're going to do a lifeguard race. We're going to paddle the board. We're going to do a bit of swimming and a bit of running on the beach. OK. Ike will race Harry's on his training break. Running, swimming and board paddling. But has Harry's bitten off more than he can shoot? Oh! There you go. That's what I call real steel. Real steel. You haven't got a cape, <laughs> have you? This is a problem. I, I don't want to recognize me out here, you know? I... Harry's plans to tip the race in his favor. The King of Bondi wouldn't take the King of Venice Beach on if he didn't know he had the upper edge. I knew I had the upper edge on this one. Round one. And Ike takes an early lead in the run leg. Oh, he's got Harry's on the ropes here. Come on, Harry's. Don't let us down. <laughs> but how will a bodybuilder perform in the water? Round two, the board paddle. Go, boys, go. Ooh. We've hit a bit of a snag. Oh, no, he's off. He's off the board in ankle deep water. <laughs> He's too top heavy. And he's too, too big for his own good. <laughs> to his credit, Ike makes it to the marker boy. Here we go. Fast as we can. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Come on, boys. So, Harry's definitely took the win on that one. It's one apiece as round three kicks off the swim leg. He looks pretty gassed. He's just wading out through the shore breaks. Well, it's lucky Ike's tall because he's just wading the whole way. I don't think he's thrown an arm over the whole time, but that's all right. He's trying his best. There we go. He's, ooh, he's struggling to throw him over. <laughs> hey, Sam. The big fella, did you tell him to put his hand up if he gets into trouble? No, he'd have to walk about four kilometres out to actually not be standing. He'll be right. Like... To meet Ike and just to see this eye-catching god come down onto the beach and really give the lifeguarding race a go, I'm really proud of what he's done and come down and given a crack. Clear-cut win for Harry's, but to be expected. That was always going to be a little bit rigged, that one. Woo! He's giving it a good crack, though. Hats off to him. That was great, man. That was Perfect. Much Mate. respect for you guys, man. Yeah. The race is won. Now all that's left is the coronation. Well, I, they say you're the king of Venice Beach, but Harry's is still the king of Bondi. Oh. Yeah. Yes. The king of Bondi is having the best tan and the nicest teeth. Harry's got it covered. Count of royalty right now. Ike is convinced that Harry's is the king of Bondi.